What is going on guys? So today I got a super quick video and it is about your Steam year in review. This is kind of like your Spotify year in review or your Spotify wrapped where it shows you like your stats on your music, your songs listened to, your favorite artists, your favorite albums, all that stuff. Well, this is now a thing in Steam and you get an email notification for it. So it looks like this, your Steam year in review 2023 is here. It's in my inbox. I got this on December 20th. You guys should have also received this at the same time because they just send them all out. So um, if you just scroll down, it's just like this big picture. You click see your year in review here and um, it's gonna bring you to a page in your browser. So this is the page in your browser and you're going to have to log in most likely because most likely you're not going to be logged into Steam on your browser. You'll be logged into Steam on the Steam app. But anyways, you can go here and then log in and then sh change the visibility of this page if you want because by default it's going to be private and then um, you can change it to friends only if you want to copy this link up here, paste it to some of your friends in like a Discord channel or Messenger channel. And then, yeah, or you can make it public and paste it to whoever you want. Put it on your profile. I'll show you how to do that later and so forth. So um, basically here, if you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of stats. 58% of games played with keyboard and mouse, 42% with controller, 10 games played. You can click into these, I think. Oh, no, you can't. But there's tons of more stats. Okay, you can click into these. This brings up more stats. Check out this. So like your play time of total playtime of all games, you know, I was playing lots of Elden Ring, I think, around this time, and then I started playing a bunch of CSGO, CS2, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, and so forth, Elden Ring, Battlefield 1, these are the games I play, so, scroll down, you can see achievements, new releases, I didn't play any games that were new releases, and that's not really my thing, because lots of games are released broken, um, here's like a cool a category or genre based breakdown of the games you play and yeah if you keep scrolling that was the graph i showed you earlier shows you the achievements shows you this for elden ring now <laughs> shows you like a little comment this game knows that i played this boss probably like 50 or 70 times and got killed by her so thanks for rubbing it in game anyways moving down um you can also visit in-store page view and library don't do this though keep looking through keep scrolling and yeah if you keep going you can see your playtime by month which is really cool this breaks down like your overall playtime per game so you can see the trends of what you played throughout the year i liked a lot of battlefield one at the start of the year then all of a sudden i discovered elden ring holy crap i played a lot of elden ring and then okay back to cs2 oh yeah i like 2k for like one month and then realized the game's not that good no offense and then i played souls 3 with my boy battlefield 1 again and yeah forza horizon's always in the mix cs2 played had a little bit of a valheim uh play session or month whatever you want to call it and yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Don't want to bore you guys too much. You can keep seeing your longest daily streak. So that's how many get times you've played every day. Like, you play once a day, and then that counts towards the streak. So I did 13 days in a row on time. Um, and then, yeah, games I played this year. And here you go. So you can add this to your profile showcase. I'm going to click this right here. We're going to sign in again. I have to go through my Steam mobile app. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about this. Um, approve. Oh, you get to see me log in. So now we can add this to a showcase. So if I go to the Steam points shop, I believe I need to buy this showcase. No, sorry. I just go to the showcase here. Steam year and review. And then you can choose the year. So this happened in 2022. You can also do it in 2023. And then if you click save, I believe that just saved it to my profile. Shows me so much feedback, this uh, <laughs> setting screen, but let's see if it's on my profile. Okay, so now it's on my profile. Shows you the breakdown of my games. Yeah, pretty much. I kind of like this like this actually so maybe i'll just leave that like it is and yeah guys that's how you add it to your profile that's how you check it out this is all done in the browser the web browser um and now if you want to check out your steam year in review now that it's added to your profile you can go in steam 
and look through it this way too. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.